Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's good? Appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. We chilling, we chilling. Y'all already know exactly what time it is. We back here to start some more game on the ground from Hungry House. We just got the pound and are ready for the next round, man. Y'all already know exactly what time it is. So with that being said, hope everybody's having a good day today or has had a good day today or is still having a good day today. Mine's been all right. You know, mine's been pretty chill, pretty normal, average day in the regularly scheduled programs. With that being said, man. <sighs> you know, we all tend to try to run before we can walk. And when you try to run before you walk, you fall. You know how to move your legs. We all fall, you know. I've fallen multiple times. And I ain't talking about, like, tripping and falling. I mean, I'm talking about, like, when you're trying to do something. When you're trying to achieve a goal and you fail at it. It's because you be trying to run before you learn how to walk. You be trying to cheat the process and get to the goal without following the steps. You try to skip over the steps. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. And if there's no failure, there's no process. No process means no growth. No growth means you don't get nowhere. You need all of those. You need to fail so you can learn how to do it. Once you learn how to do it, you can follow the process. And when you follow the process, you start to see the growth. You start to feel the growth. You start to notice it. But a lot of people tend to skip it because they're impatient. They want to get to the they want to get to the point. And they miss out. They miss the point. They miss the important parts. The important parts are actually learning how to do what it is that you're trying to do. You gotta follow those steps first. But with that being said, man. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this in just a minute. Go ahead and grab a drink real quick. This episode is brought to y'all by Sam's Club Mountain Dew. Not really, because I ain't sponsored by them. Y'all know I just be clowning around. Okay, that is a goofy name. I've never seen a name like that before. I ain't never heard of no name like that. But, uh, yeah. With that being said, we're about to jump right into this. Whoa. Okay. No, thank you. I don't want that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool on that. I'm cool on that. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so, we're going to talk about this uh, Megan the Stallion and Tory Lane's court case, man, that just happened. Oh, uh, man, it don't make no sense to most people, to the, I guess you could say to the, to an initiated or, or whatever you want to call it, you know, how they be doing those, uh, secret societies, uninitiated, whatever, but, um, the reason why Tory Lanez got convicted on no evidence at all is because it was rigged. The whole case was rigged. It was it was fixed for him to lose. They already knew what was happening. You know, Kelsey tested positive for gun residue. Um, Tory Lanez didn't. You know, Megan the Stallion kept, uh, or I should just say Meg, Megan, whatever. I'm I'm not even gonna say her full name, but uh, she kept changing her story, like two or three times. She kept changing it up revising it, you know, and, um, that alone should have dethroned her case right there, you know, and, and Kelsey testing positive for the residue, all that stuff, that should have, uh, dethroned the case right there, but it didn't, and the reason why, and a lot of people are saying it don't make sense, it don't make sense, um, when you look from behind the curtains, there's a lot more that goes on behind the curtains than you, than, than you, than you see, you know, there's a lot more that goes on behind the curtains, and that's what we're going to do since you want to come over here and talk about something that we ain't even talking about. But uh, the reason why is because the jury was rigged. The jury was bought. They paid the jury to convict Tory Lanez. And the reason for that is because he figured out how to... He basically broke the system. He broke the industry. He figured out how to you know, do what he wanted to do without having to be under a label or this, that, and the third. And he figured out basically how to break free from the mental, 
the mental change that they put on you. I'll just say it like that. The mental change. Because I don't, excuse me, I don't know if TikTok will allow the other word on here. I got the hiccups now. But, um. He figured out a way to break through, break the mental change that they, they instill on you uh, in the industry when you sign that contract, when you sign your soul away. Uh, he figured out how to break out of that. And he was going to go independent, which was his plan. Now, the labels, the industry didn't like that. They wanted him to stay under the label. They wanted him to stay under control. They wanted to stay having their money, you know, making bank off of him. And he didn't want to do that because he realized that he didn't need the label to make money no more. You know, he didn't need the industry. So with that being said, he was told, look, either you're going to, either you're going to come back to us and you're going to sign this label or you're, you're going to, you're going to get 23 years in prison and you're going to get deported afterwards or before or who knows where. And, um, he wasn't messing with it. He didn't like it. Don't nobody like it when you try to control their freedom. I don't. You know, when somebody tries to tell me you do this or this is going to happen, no. I don't like that. No real man would like that. You know? So he decided, no, I'm going to go my own way because that's what I want to do because I know that I can do what I want to do without needing you guys anymore. Plus, I don't want to be a part of the industry anymore because you guys are sick behind closed doors. And they didn't like that because uh, I guess they were worried that he would expose them, which, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he did eventually. And why are you, yeah, 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 see, look, yeah, 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 boom. But um, he figured out, he, he was going to go do what he wanted to do, you know, without the label, without the industry. And they realized the amount of, one, they realized the amount of money that he was going to lose, they were going to lose, because of the amount of money he would make being a solo independent artist. Number two was they wanted to keep him under control because of the influence they have. Number three is because they were scared that they would expose him. They were scared that he would expose him. You know, the industry are all run by the by the elite. You know, all the industry, the food, the the music industry, the food industry, film industry, all that stuff, all that stuff. It's all it's all run by the elite. So with that being said, they all do things behind closed doors. They force you to do things behind closed doors. Um, and it's not anything that you want to be a part of. It's not anything that anybody in their right mind would be a part of. And he didn't want no more to do with that. So they rigged it. They rigged the jury. They, they bought out the jury. They rigged it. They, they, they fixed it to where he would lose. And that's what happened. You know, it sucks. But, uh... The, you know, the industry and the system, they hate men. They hate men. They are so against men. Anybody with a pair of milkers and a second pair of lips can say this, that, that you did this or that to them. And everybody would get on their knees and start begging, oh, are you okay? You know, poor girl, poor whatever, you know. It, it, they don't, the industry does not care. The industry does not care. The system does not care. Um. They don't. And I told y'all before, I told y'all my other account, my main account, right now I'm not on it because I got restricted on there from going live. But I told y'all that if she didn't get convicted, it just goes to show that the system hates men. And guess what? She didn't get convicted. She didn't. Her case was nothing, was built on sand. It wasn't built on rock. It was built on sand. It wasn't built on a hard surface. But they still convicted Tory Lanez. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all it was going to happen, man. And it's a shame. But, um, you know, when, you, when you've paid attention to the signs, when you've paid attention to what goes on behind closed doors, you start to see a pattern. You start to realize, yeah, this is going to happen. Yeah, that's going to happen. Next thing you know, it does happen because you've seen it happen before multiple times. Would it have been nice for her to get locked up? Yes, it would have. So she could stop spreading destruction for a while, but that didn't happen because the 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 elite wants her to spread destruction. The elite wants her out there to uh, um, corrupt our youth. You know, they make all that 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 music, music, 
and they, they target it towards children, towards teenagers, young teenagers, towards an impressionable audience because they want to shape the future of our children in the way that they want to mold our youth, our future into weak, into weak people, weak-minded people so that they can take over. Yeah, that's what it is. And that's why they didn't convict her, because she's a part of it. But with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here. I'll be right back with the next episode. Appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. Make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mommies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. And I will be right back. Deuces.